Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with their locations. And also, here we are given a second order linear differential equation. We are going to solve this problem using reduction of order method. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x square into d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx minus 9y equal to 0 given that y equal to x cube is a solution. So here, if you notice, we are having variable equations and the RHS part is 0, right? So obviously, we'll have a solution to this problem. And here, we are given a solution directly y equal to x cube, okay? But we need to find the general solution to this equation, okay? General solution in the sense containing arbitrary constants, right? So now, let's begin. Given differential equation, x square into d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx minus 9y equal to 0. Now, we have to write the given differential equation in standard form. Say d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus q into y equal to some r. But we don't have any r here, right? Let it be. For that purpose, we need to make the equation to of d square y by dx square to unity. So what we'll do is we'll just divide the whole equation or both sides of the equation with x square or multiply both sides of the equation with x square. Then we'll get d square y by dx square plus x by x square into dy by dx minus 9 by x square into y equal to 0. Then, here one x gets cancelled, we'll get d square y by dx square plus 1 by x into dy by dx minus 9 by x square into y equal to 0. Right? Consider it as equation number 1, which is in standard form. Right? Now, compare these two equations and write P, Q, capital R. Compare one with standard form. We have P equal to 1 by x, Q equal to minus 9 by x square, and R equal to 0. Now, we don't need to find a part of complementary function of equation 1 because we are already given y equal to x cube is a solution of our given equation, right? So, we are already given u, which is x cube. Therefore, y equal to x cube is a solution of 1, which is given, okay, where u of x or u equal to x cube. Since we are having u, we need to find derivative of u with respect to x. We'll just differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Then du by dx equal to derivative of x cube with respect to x is 3x squared. When u equal to x cube, then du by dx equal to 3x squared. Let y equal to u v be the general solution of 1. Then v is given by we already have u which is x cube, right? We need to find v. V is given by formula d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u into du by dx into dv by dx 
equal to r by u. Consider it as equation number 2. Now, put p, u, du by dx and r in this equation. Then we will get capital V and from this capital V we will find small v. This equation becomes d square v by dx square plus p. p is 1 by x plus 2 by u x cube into du by dx is 3x square into dv by dx equal to r which is 0, 0 by u is 0, okay. We will get here x square gets cancelled and we will get d square v by dx square plus 1 by x plus 2 3 is a 6 by if x square gets cancelled we will get x in the denominator into dv by dx equal to 0. This equation becomes d square v by dx square plus take the LCM of the two fractions we will get x in the numerator 1 plus 6 into dv by dx equal to 0. Then d square v by dx square plus 1 plus 6 is 7 by x into dv by dx equal to 0. Let d small v by dx equal to capital V. Then d square small v by dx square equal to d capital V by dx. Okay. The above equation becomes replace d square small v by dx square with d capital V by dx plus 7 by x into replace d small v by dx with capital V equal to 0. Then we can write this as d capital V by dx equals to minus 7 by x into capital V. Let's separate the variables. We can write this equation as 1 by v into dv equal to minus 7 into 1 by x into take this dx to RHS we'll get into dx so here the variables are se separable we can perform integration right then integral 1 by capital V dv equal to minus 7 into integral 1 by x dx we'll get log capital V equal to minus 7 log x plus integral constant c1 we can write this c1 as log c1 because already we are having two terms in log so we can write this c1 as log c1 in the next step okay we'll get log v equal to we know that m log n can be written as log n power m so we can write minus 7 log x as log x power minus 7 plus we can write this c1 as log c1 okay also since log a plus log b equal to log a b then we can write log x power minus 7 plus log c1 as log c1 x power minus 7 this becomes log b equal to log c1 x power minus 7 and also we know that if log a equal to log b then a equal to b right then this becomes v capital v equal to c1 x power minus 7 right now since we know that v equal to d small v by dx we can replace v with dv by dx then dv equal to c1 x power minus 7 to take this differential dx to RHS will get into dx. Now perform integration will get integral dv equal to c1 integral x power minus 7 into dx. Since we know that integral x power minus n sorry 
x power n dx equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 for plus integral constant, okay? For n not equals to minus 1. Right? Now compare this integrand with x for n will have n equal to minus 7 which is not equals to minus 1, right? Which is not minus 1 otherwise. So we can apply this formula here. We will get v equal to c1 into integral x power minus 7 dx is x power minus 7. We will write it clearly. This becomes v equal to c1 x power minus 7 plus 1 by minus 7 plus 1 plus integral constant c2. Then v equal to c1 x power minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6 by minus 6 plus c2. We can write it as c1 into 1 by minus 6 into x power minus 6 plus c2. We know that x power minus n equal to 1 by x power n. Then we can write x power minus 6 as 1 by x power 6. We will get c1 into, we can write 1 by minus 6 as minus 1 by 6 into 1 by x power 6 plus c2. Or we can write this as minus c1 by 6 into 1 by x power 6 plus c2. Okay, let c1 dash equal to minus c1 by 6. Then we can write this as v equal to c1 dash into 1 by x power 6 plus c2. Okay. So we got v here and we are having u also. Let's now write the general solution. Therefore, the general solution is given by y equal to u v. Right. Then y equal to u already you are having x cube into v is c1 dash or you can write simply c1 okay it's not necessary to write c1 dash okay or you can just write minus c1 by 6 a constant as c1 into 1 by x power 6 plus c2 this equals to c1 dash into x cube by x power 6 plus c2 x cube so 3x get again gets cancelled and we'll get y equal to c1 dash into 1 by x cube plus c2 x cube which is the required solution okay you can write minus c1 by 6 as c1 also. If we write minus c1 by 6 as c1, then we'll get y equal to c1 into 1 by x cube plus c2 x cube. Okay? So we have seen a problem from reduction of order in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.